What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the RZ. Come with this in the half and the half, not season eight, episode one, the long game. So, guys, the half and the half, not just came back last night. We on season eight already. Um, they had a new theme song too, a new angel. So that's interesting to see. Um, we know Hannah. You know, you could tell she didn't get that much sleep. She didn't look like she ate anything. Um. We didn't see Candace or Ben in this episode. Uh, we didn't see Jim in this episode either. Or um, who else wasn't in the episode? Jeffrey and Wyatt. Well, we kind of did see Wyatt body, but he's not dead. We know he's still going to be in the hospital. You know, you know I'll talk about that soon. Um, and then we see Veronica and um, Samuel, whatever his, Sam or whatever his name is. Basically, been cheating on his wife because that's how it started. His wife's gonna find out that he's been sleeping with Veronica. And even Debbie knew, told him you need to be careful because he know that she's dangerous, just like he is. And he was giving him advice. Pretty much. And then Laura is starting to get suspicious about, about how he act. And we know he lies. Because we know he was at that woman's house, Veronica, and she don't know yet. And the thing is, you know, they trying to take her down. But Veronica is smarter. She already know that he took the money, and she told that was part of the plans. That she knew he was there was after her for her money. That's where it was. What else happened? And we see Hannah Tucker to um. Marty and his coop and his two guys, I don't know their names still. Um, you can tell Hannah's is is a little lost because she still don't know about this yet. And guys, man, and then the guy then he called Hannah to see everything went good. And then you can tell Hannah haven't slept. Then guys come and find out. Now it makes sense why that reporter was dead. She was lying about who she was. She was also lying about that she lived in that store where we know she don't because she's the reporter. You remember when, um, you remember he told her to talk to Hannah's, talk to Kenneth's mother. She didn't want, she didn't want to ask no questions. She didn't care. She didn't want nothing to do. Yes, and you remember Kenneth, we're going to see Kenneth soon. Remember Charles Mitzer talking about he had, a dream about her and stuff like that. You know what they're trying to do is set this up together. And then I know next week we're going to see Wyatt talking to Jeffrey. Jeffrey said, you trying to kill your parents. Well, he did say his father. His father did come. We know he's going to be discharged. He's going to be wearing the arm bracelets and stuff like that. And I think Wyatt is going crazy. He tell him, I love you, Dad. And then he tell him, tell me you love me. And... Why even say he don't want to be Jeffrey's friend no more? Okay, cool. I'm sure, he, I'm sure that he treated him like crap anyway ever since he came out. So, it is what it is. I don't really care about that scene. We didn't, you know. Who else? Who else? Then we see um, Melissa. Melissa was acting crazy. Making up the false matter that Debbie would put his hand on her when you know she did that to herself. And the guy was smart. I had to give him that. He was recording the whole thing the whole time, and that's how she find out. It, he wasn't even phased about her calling the police. Because we knew the neighbors called the police. I said, finally, somebody heard a scream, and the cop came, and David, you know, told his bodyguard to let him in. And David did confirm him, tell him that this happened again, you fired. He wanted him to step up his game because he didn't want to trust that girl. And I know, I understand how he felt because these women are crazy. I don't want to say all of them, but yeah, she totally. And then he even made her go, he even made her go out without no shoes. She just don't, David don't care. Just making her go out with no shoes, barefoot and everything. And her phone. She don't even have her phone neither. And then she also blamed David for separating her si- her and her sister, um, Erica. Talking about, you killed Erica. And he said, I didn't kill her. 
And then David even asked her a question. I'm going to ask you one thing. Did she send Veronica, my ex-wife Veronica, send you? And she said, I don't know that bitch. She's not lying. She's telling the truth. She haven't met face to face. But we don't know if this is the last time we're going to see Melissa because this woman's been trying to get a ride out of David, trying to get him to buy a house. And David was a just then. That's why he was doing the right thing. And I don't get why she can't just thank him for him saving your life. Your dad could have killed you, pretty much. And she wouldn't get mad. You should thank him for getting you out of that situation. Your dad was an abuser. And who wouldn't live with somebody that's abused one another? That's not okay. That's disgusting. So, yeah. And she kept apologizing to David. And David, you could tell he don't want to hear it. You know, he know what she was up to. That's why he recorded her. You know, that was a smart move on that part. We see Kathleen in jail still. I'm sure she's going to be in the interrogation room next week with Jim. And Hannah, I don't know what she's going to do. But I feel like this ain't going to be pretty when Hannah and David are going to see Hannah on the computer trying to do transfer or whatever she was doing. And last thing we seen David showing up. Remember he talked to Sam earlier. Um, she put up a pussy knife and told her to stay away from me. And things about to get crazy. And she, next thing he gonna say, oh, it's like that? She said, yeah, it's like that. Because Hannah's still upset for what he done when they was teenagers. She ain't gonna never get over that. I guess the only way to get over it if he leave her alone and never come back. Ben been Benny been trying to get him trying to make him leave and not to come back. Now Yeah, man, it was a crazy mess. And Randon well the reporter even tell Randon that you owe me. And then you got Oliver. Well, I don't know why I even care about this scene, but it is what it is. Cause I sure nobody else doesn't either. So yeah, and you can tell Charles to have fun with Candace. I believe they're gonna be in the scene together for sure. It will happen. But that's all I gotta say about the half and the half not. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell, and share this video. Peace.